Correct. So on February 17, 2021, we have announced the next era of G Suite for Education, uh, previously known as that. And so now we have rebranded and uh, it's called Google Workspace for Education. So there are a total of four versions, all right? So um, Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals, this is uh, where the free version is. And of course, we also have Google Workspace for Education Standard, Teaching and Learning Upgrade, and our most comprehensive or ultimate upgrade will be Google Workspace for Education Plus. All right, so Google has traditionally offered unlimited storage to qualifying schools and universities for free. So however, as we have grown to serve more schools and universities each year, storage consumption has also rapidly accelerated. So storage is not being consumed equitably across nor within institution. And school teachers or, or school leaders often don't have the tools that they have need to manage this. So to, to support the schools into the future and ensure fair distribution of this valuable resource, we've been implementing a new pool storage model and helping admins and school leaders manage their storage. So nothing is changing today and we expect that more than 99% of institutions will be within the pool storage provided by the new policy. All right, so we remain committed to providing all institutions around the world with a best-in-class experience, including ample free storage to support quality educational experiences. So this policy will go into effect across all Google Workspace for Education additions for existing customers in July 2022 and will be effective for new customers signing up in January 1st. 2022. To empower admins to adapt this model and optimize their storage, we will provide tools to identify and manage how storage is used and allocated far in advance of the policy going into effect. All right, the new storage model will be provided to schools and uh, universities with a baseline of 100 terabyte of pool cloud storage shared across all your users and more than, uh, is, we believe, is more than enough storage for over 100 million docs, documents, 8 million presentations, or 400,000 hours of video. All right, so this is um, uh, the timeline implementation for the, the storage updates, uh, the storage policy timeline, all right? Um, as you can see, we have to make an announcement since uh, February 17 uh, on the rebrand rebrand and brand moment. And of course, right, uh, we are also looking at uh, the new schools that have been implemented, which I have mentioned earlier. And uh, so we are currently at this stage. And of course, uh, the pool storage launch will be expected by quarter four. And I uh, just want to highlight again, right, by July 2022, this is where the enforcement will happen on the 100 terabyte uh, uh, pool storage. Okay, so um, what we are offering, we are also offering uh, those customers who are running Education Plus, right, uh, we will offer an additional 18 months um, for you to, uh, manage your storage and of course uh, Google will Google will be providing Google and the partner will be providing the assistance to help you manage this okay so um, this is some of the approach that uh, we would like um, our customers to take note right so of course um, especially for the um, Google admins in your education institution please get them to check on the available storage right now. And of course, um, uh, understanding what are the current utilization is. And of course, uh, in terms of um, the groups of users, right? It could be uh, your, your staff and the students. And in some cases for the higher ads, you have the alumni, right? So you, you uh, just need to take note on uh, what are the usages. And of course, um, also to have a plan on 
the changes and of course um, what are the actions needed before the storage policy is implemented. All right, so um, as I mentioned earlier, there's a total of uh, four editions, right? So fundamentals is the free editions where um, the education standard teaching learning upgrade and uh, education plus is the paid version. Uh, I will not share the details or as uh, Inchek Shaho will go in details later. All right. So these are some of the storage um, differences. So as I mentioned, by 2022, July, right, the baseline of 100 terabyte uh, of boost cloud storage will be applied. And uh, so these are the differences if you go on the paid version. So with teaching and learning upgrade, there's 100 gig of uh, um, per, per user license will be added into the shared pool. All right. So for Education Plus, um, there's a 20 gig uh, per user license added into the pool. All right. So these are some of the um, tools that uh, that the, we are able to help uh, our customers to maneuver, uh, and of course, uh, in terms of managing your storage. So these are available free, and you can uh, um, use this to to help. Um, manage or even plan for your storage uh, utilizations all right so of course we also have um, partners uh, built-in tools available um, so this is uh, where you we can also um, get a consumption uh, or breakdown on the, who is the uh, users that has the largest file for example and uh, uh, etc all right so um, just to my last few slides, just want to share, right? Um, Google Workspace Education Plus is uh, is not just Google Classroom, which is included already uh, free in fundamentals. Um, it, it it's also provides you with all these additional features that uh, uh, I won't go through in details. In Chick Shaho will 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 share more later. All right, so um, in the event that um, our customers here would like to have uh, 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 would like to have a more storage um, uh, remediations uh, plan, right? Is you, you, there are two options. One is to purchase the Education Plus, right? And uh, else, if you require additional storage space, we are able to provide you with uh, the Google Cloud Storage subscriptions. 